Uh, my name is John Myers. We're in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. We're in my design studio. Uh, I'm an old guy. I've been doing this off and on since the mid-90s. In Taipei, I started teaching English and I had an insane curiosity about the world. That was my first time traveling abroad from the States. And so the number one thing that crossed my mind was, how do I just keep this going? Like, what's home and why do I want to go home? That led me down the path of software, that led me down the path of design, and so now I'm a practicing uh, user interface, user experience designer, and so that took me down a pretty long road. I like to see as many people involved as possible, so the more people that consider it, uh, great. Just know the challenges that are involved. Uh, it's not easy. It, you know, you have to prioritize income. Personally, I'm not into the idea of passive income. When you're building passive income assets, they inevitably atrophy. And I've played the affiliate marketing game. I've played all those games and seen the techniques we exploit come and go and die. And they always will. It's a shell game. You have to be really doubled down on either skill mastery and amplifying that skill to the world, or you have to be really doubled down on asset creation. Anytime you're selling the dream, you're setting yourself up and others for failure because you're saying all you have to do is duplicate these results and these techniques and you'll get the same results. And so that's not realistic, you know. The people sort of selling the dream and like, oh, hey, look at me on the beach with my cocktails and my laptop. Nah, that stuff's tired. That's silly. It's not fun to work on a beach. The glare is bad. Uh, you need a proper place to work if you're going to be serious about your craft. 10, 15 years ago, it didn't occur to most people that this was even a possibility. You went to school, you got a job, you got married, you had kids, you got your house, you went into debt, you retired and died. And so that whole narrative is kind of dying. And so it was a perfect storm, right? So after the crash of the economy in 2008, people were starting to consider other narratives. And so I think it's really good that the digital nomad uh, narrative is out there so people can point to it and they can point to some people that, have, that are having some success. Uh, the downside is that there's really unrealistic presentations of the narrative. 